moly! Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be part two of the Ace Beauty Paradise Collection eyeshadow review videos. Definitely, if you haven't checked out my first one, I will link that up. Definitely go check that one out first because I give you more details about the overall collection and there may or may not be a giveaway in that video. So go check that one out. Watch that one first. If you already watched that one, welcome to part two. Today we are reviewing the Slice of Paradise palette. It is the very, very colorful one. So if you want to see this video, keep on watching. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like my eyeshadow palette review videos, and of course the like button as well if you are excited about this palette. If you're loving color for this season, hit that like button, and definitely comment below letting me know, have you gotten anything from this collection? Are you planning on it? Do you like this brand? Have you even heard of this brand? Let me know all that in the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. Let's jump right into the review. Okay, so like I mentioned, we are going to be reviewing the Slice of Paradise. This is um, one of four releases from Ace Beauty. Color is just so, so huge this season. I've never seen so much saturated, bright, in-your-face colors in the beauty industry since I started getting really, really into makeup. I've never seen it be this widely used, and it is just so unbelievably exciting. Um, it's just so nice to get away from like the neutrals and the cranberries and the blacks and grays and just really bring some bright oranges, reds, blues, yellows. Bringing that in is just amazing and so inspiring to work with. It just kind of gives you a new lease on trying different types of eye looks that aren't quite so neutral and basic, basically. Um, basic, basically. So. Like the first palette that I reviewed, it's got a nice big mirror, and the packaging is like that hard cardboard that a lot of palettes use, and it's of course blue on the front, it's got the embossed logo, and it's very pretty. I like the packaging, it's definitely cool and it does the trick. So we have a lot of colors to work with here, but this palette is 90% matte. So there are 12 shades as with the other palettes and only two of the 12 are shimmer and that is a royal purple and a beautiful like teal green color. So there are two shimmers, all the rest are like solid mattes and they are very, very intense colors, like primary colors, like basic blue, basic orange, something you would pick right off the color wheel. So I'm really kind of interested to see how these mattes are going to perform. I think it's challenging to create mattes like this that really, really are pigmented and blendable. So we shall see. A lot of big companies have been coming out with colorful eyeshadow recently. So we'll see if Ace Beauty lives up to the task. Okay, so as per usual, I'm going to jump in with the lightest shade. Like I mentioned in my last video, this just helps me to kind of like get a feel for what I want to do for the video because I almost always have absolutely no idea what I'm doing prior. I have like some kind of semblance of an idea, but not a very clear one. So I'm going to dip into Flamingo. It is like a peachy kind of, of course, matte, peachy nude is she okay so that color was nice I wouldn't necessarily expect it to like jump off my eyeball just because it is a lighter shade but it's not showing up as much in the camera but on my actual skin in the mirror I can definitely see it, it blended seamlessly so so far so good all right so I'm just gonna kind of jump in and start doing something and cross my fingers and pray that it works so I'm going to start with Daffodil. It is like a neon yellow shade. I just have no idea how this is going to perform. A lot of kick up in the pan. A lot of kick up. Okay, so I'm going to simply press this into the inner corner of the eye. Okay, it's definitely some pigment there. Definitely some pigment. So if you really hate kick up or a messy palette, that shade is gonna drive you nuts. It's really pigmented, but a ton of kick, kick up. And when you tap off the brush, a lot, lot, lot of powder flies off. But for that pigment, meh, I'll take it. That is solid. That's really nice. And it's over Flamingo, which we just put down. 
So that's pretty impressive, and that's dry. Oh, there goes that sun again, peeking in, peeking out. Alrighty, cool. So next I'm gonna go in with, hmm, I'm gonna go in with the bright blue, called Blue Bell. I feel like we've been seeing a ton of purple looks, thanks to the Norvina palette, but we haven't been seeing as much bright blue. So let's go in with the blue again. Wow. No shortage of pigmentation, that is for sure. Again, this color is dry and I'm just pressing it in and holy moly, I don't understand how this company does it. Like how do you get, how do you get colors so unbelievably pigmented? It's really mind blowing. All right, so I'm gonna grab a blending brush and a little bit of Flamingo and I just wanna make sure that top edge stays smooth. So we're gonna see how these colors, ooh, what's happening? A little messy, but that's all right. We are gonna carve out the crease, so I'm not as concerned about the mess, but that one, when I blend it, it just kind of gets everywhere, so I'm gonna leave that as is for now. All right, let's finish it off with the deep blue called Macaw. And I'm going to, like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I guess press it into the end here. I always do this shape, I apologize, guys. I always go into it thinking I'm gonna do something different and then I like end up doing the same thing. And there's so much pigment on this brush that I can actually do both eyes with one dip. Imagine that. That's pretty wild. I mean, you can see it. I don't even have to explain it. You can see the pigmentation and how amazing it is. So I'm just gonna like wing that out. Oh my God, even blending it, it just like, man, oh man. I haven't been this impressed with makeup in a long time. I'll be honest. Like I try a lot of big name brand companies and I'm not normally this blown away. I'll be really honest. This is, this company just really did something special here, you guys, really special. If you can support them, please do. Uh, they don't really, they have no idea I exist. This was certainly not sponsored. No, no big brand is sponsoring my channel at this point. This is just all me from inside. Okay, awesome. That is a look. That is a look. Um, all right, let me just blend a little bit here. Colors are also blending together really nicely, so sometimes I have trouble with two colors meshing, especially when they're this bright, but these are really like going together quite seamlessly, which is really encouraging. So the biggest downfall thus far has been the fallout in the pan, really mostly with that yellow shade. The others aren't as bad, but that yellow shade has a ton of kick up. Okay, so now I'm gonna carve out, as I typically do, my little winged cut crease situation. All right, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so cut crease is cutted and I'm looking like a futuristic like bird parrot, something or other. No matter how hard I try, no matter what intentions I go in with, I always end up with this eye shape when I do my eyeshadow palette reviews. I always end up with this crazy cut crease. I don't know how it happens. All right, for the lid. Again, we only have two shimmer shades. So I think maybe for the inside of the lid, I think I'm gonna go in with Fruit Dove. Again, a nice tightly packed shade. I found that with the other palette as well that the shimmer was really tightly packed. Oh, okay. No need to wet this color. Mm -mm. She is just living her best life. Concealer on my lid is still slightly tacky, so I'm sure that helps with the pigmentation. But holy moly, that's really, really cool. Really cool. Okay, now should I do a matte on the bottom? I think we have to do the other shimmery shade, right? Even if we look like a clown. 
Daffodil, another really tightly packed shade. No surprise, really pigmented. I love that I don't have to use these shades wet. It saves so much in product because I use so much setting spray just wetting my eyeshadow brushes. So it's so nice that you can go in with these dry and you still get the same level of like pigment. Not like pigment, pigment. <laughs> okay, getting some fallout. Right, I'm just gonna just blend those two shades together and then I think what I'm gonna do is um, do a line of concealer between those two layers just to break them up a little bit because they don't really go together. Like the shades don't really mesh. Okay guys, so for tomorrow's episode of day-to-day -day wearable eye looks, <laughs> I'm so funny. All right, so let me go ahead and carve out that little space and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I ended up only carving out like from the middle of my lid out and I actually really like how that turned out. I feel like it made the look a little bit more elevated and set it a little bit apart from my other looks. So cool, love when that happens. <laughs> Most of the time I just mess it up, but this time it worked. All right, just trying to find a clean brush, which is like nearly impossible right now because I've been doing so much makeup, which is awesome. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to take Persimmon, which looks like a really cool shade, but ooh, again with the kick up. All right, so I'm just going to Reminds me of a dandelion, like an orangey dandelion. Maybe the tiniest bit chalky on that shade, if I'm being really critical. All right, so we are almost done. To finish off this look, I think maybe we'll take the, yeah, let's do the purple, the matte purple. We've used almost every shade in this palette. I did want to use passion fruit, which is like that orange color, next time. All right, so I'm going to take the matte purple and just connect it up with this shimmery purple. So that purple performed like all the other mattes really, really well, really nicely. Awesome. All right, guys, so I'm going to pop on some lashes and I'll show you the final look up close and then I'll give you guys my final. So I'm gonna quickly give you my final thoughts. Again, no surprise here. I am so, so, so unbelievably impressed with this palette. This is now the second palette I, re I reviewed from the Paradise Collection and I am unbelievably impressed. Really, really happy for Ace Beauty for creating such an amazing quality product. Um, the only thing I would change about this palette is I would maybe add one or two more shimmer shades, kind of similar to my last critique of the other palette. That would be awesome because the shimmer shades are absolutely amazing and have worked so beautifully thus far that I would like some more. Um, but yeah, other than that, Oh, and the other critique I would probably give is just the kick up in the pan. It is pretty significant, so if that is something that bothers you, I am cautioning you against it right now. Um, that is not something that really bothers me all that much. I'd much prefer a great formula that blends. If a little kick up happens in the pan, that's no big deal. But if, it th if that is a big pet peeve of yours, then you've been warned. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. If you like these types of videos, definitely hit the subscribe button. Go check out my last upload in this series because there is a giveaway in there and you should definitely enter it. Don't forget to check out my community tab and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.